What's up guys, Spiro here from wpsociety.com. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to create a child team, WordPress child team. When we want to create a WordPress child team, when we don't need one. And also what are potential problems that, that we might experience while creating one. Now, before we go to the content, I just wanna let you know that here at WP Society, we talk about WordPress, create WordPress tutorials for beginners, intermediate and advanced, as well as complete website tutorials. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And now without further ado, let's hop into the content. All right guys, and we are now inside my computer. This will be a website that we're gonna use to create our child team. And let's get started. So let's hop in the dashboard and then go appearance and then teams. And here we can see our active team. Currently active team is 2019. 2019 is a team that comes by default with the latest WordPress version. Now, if we want to edit or add some snippet into this team, all we have to do is click on team editor and then over there on the right hand side, find team functions or functions.php file. Click on it. And this is our PHP file. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Look guys, you can add your code here. And now with the new version of WordPress, they even protected us. If you don't know what you're doing and you write some wrong code, which would eventually break your website, they won't let you save the code. They implemented a couple of protections to, you know, protect us from our own mistakes. But now there is another problem and that's actually why I recommend to create a child team in case you have to add any custom page templates or JavaScript code or maybe uh, some WordPress uh, snippets that's gonna improve your user experience. Why child team? Child team because, for example, there might be new version of a WordPress and with the new version of the WordPress, there might be some new add-on and then your current team doesn't have that option yet. And what happens? There is a team update a few weeks later. When you update your team, you're gonna erase all your changes and basically everything you've applied disappeared and you're now in trouble, right? So that's a case when we want to have a child team. But what's the case when we don't wanna have a child team? If you just have a CSS changes, pretty much every team nowadays, if you click on customize and then click on additional CSS, here we go. Let's say we wanna change this here text into something else. We don't need to create a child team for this. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna grab this entry title and we're gonna do here and put a brackets and let's say color red and that's it and update. For this type of changes, obviously you don't need a child team. Now let's get hands dirty, let's create our child team. Actually, there is one more thing to say with the new teams and pretty much all premium teams or paid teams, we have options or teams have included the options to add JavaScript or HTML code into their headers and footers. So if you just have to in inject like new font into your website, you can easily do it through the like team options. So for these cases as well, you might don't need child team, but if you use one of the older teams or a free team and you wanna add a custom header code, you are most probably gonna need your child team. Let's hop on our C panel now. So first we're gonna open a file manager and then <clears throat> and then navigate into your team folder and once you're in a team folder here we want to create a new folder and we want to call it 2019-child or something like that so and now open this child team folder and inside this team folder we have to create two files first is a style CSS or a style sheet for our child team and second one is a functions.php because we need to load main team styles. So first file we're gonna create is style.css and then cre click create file. Now edit. And then inside this file, we are going to copy this snippet here, which actually describes this stylesheet CSS of our child team. And if you look closer, team name, 2019 WP Society example child. URL, wpsociety.com, author, author URL, description. I just put something randomly like simple 2019 child team, 
we are going to create for tutorial purposes. And then template. This is the most important part because this is 2019 actually. And this here needs to match folder name of the parent team. Then license and license URL. And underneath here comes our custom code for our child team. Now, if we save this file, and if we go to Good Mood Promotions again, and we check goodmoodpromotions.com and go to teams, we'll find our 2019 child team. If we activate this team, it will work, but it will be completely broken without any CSS loaded, right? So next thing to do is to add functions.php. Again, open up a team folder, create a new file, name it functions.php and then click create new. Edit. And here we wanna copy this piece of code. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can find these files so you can modify them according to your team and you know, get it working with whatever team, whatever child team you're creating. And now just click save and let's open goodmoodpromotions.com. Everything looks pretty much the same, just our menu items, if we had any, and all the changes that we had inside the team settings because they are saved under the other team because this team now, or WordPress now sees this child team as its own team. So if we activate 2019, you'll see that this text is going to get read. Same happens with menus. Let me quickly show you in a menu example. Uh, let's load a uh, home primary menu and let's add demo and about pages into it. So we have two about pages and let's say like this and let's save. And this is something you should be aware of. So if you, for example, have your established site, you have your custom menus, you have your custom CSS code loading from the settings, additional settings, or might be some additional fonts or some scripts loading from the footer or anything like that, you have to include these things in a future team. And they're gonna disappear if you just activate your child team. So be aware of these little things. Let's activate the child team and you'll see that menu gonna go to default. Oh, menu stays. This is beautiful. This is. I was pretty sure it won't copy the menus, but obviously WordPress is getting better. It changed. It probably picked up that we are talking about the same parent team. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna open up team editor and then we're gonna click in the style sheet and quickly, let me just, again, do this change. And let's save and here we go now in our child team we have coded the same thing but we didn't use this custom or additional CSS field same would be if our if that was advanced team that gave us an option to add a code in the header but things with the header and other stuff work slightly different another thing that pretty much every child team should have is JavaScript we should be able to add our JavaScript simply to our child team. So what I like to do, I like to create another folder and call it JS, like JavaScript. And then inside this folder, just create a new file, call it script.js and up one level. And again, everything we have to do is inside this functions.php file, we have to add one more line here. And it's gonna look like this, in which we're going to 2019 child slash js slash script.js and now if we have any javascript that we want to update all we have to do is we have to click this js and js script and here we can add our javascript very simply easy and it's gonna get applied another cool thing that we can do is if you go to teams you'll see our child team doesn't uh, have this like a background icon to get one you need to create custom screenshot.php file and then just drag and drop into the child's team and close just uh, reload 
it's here and then just refresh in here and here we go here is our now child team background sort of picture uh, now another couple of important things is how hierarchy works so now when we have a child team uh, in our functions.php file here we can add our additional snippets and functions and change plenty of things that we eventually want to change in this script.js we can add any javascript that we want that will then load on a whole website but let's say that uh, we want to add just uh, additional piece of code into our header.php file now how this thing works is if we create a new header.php file in here it will override the header php file of the team so if there is any of parent team files called exactly the same as our child team file our child team file will override the parent team file and there will be most probably errors so what's recommended to do is we want to change header on this team we're going to go to 2019 original or parent team and then we're going to locate the header php and copy it to our 2019 child and now this header.php should appear in our team editor and we can now easily edit it from here and add any additional code if we want same rule applies for all files that exist in a parent team and guys that's pretty much it this is how child teams works in wordpress it actually allows you to add your own style sheet and then functions.php if you add that one additional line of the code into your functions.php file then it allows you to edit your javascript as well i'm gonna leave a link to the blog where you can find these codes down below in the description of this video also if you think that i can improve my videos please let me know what would you change and now before we knock off i just want to let you know if you are interested in making money online make sure you check my number one recommendation on how to make money online which is what i'm doing right now sign up for my email list and i'm gonna send it over to you right away right now and that brings us to the end of this video guys i hope you've learned something if you did so smash the like comment in the description below subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos also don't forget to check the cards on the right hand side there'll be one video coming tomorrow how to optimize contact form 7 for a best performance so if you use that plugin don't miss that video it's must have in 2019